Hey guys, what is going on? Steven back again, and we have some exciting new Walking Dead news. So I have an article here from comicbook.com. I will post a link in the description box below. And the title reads, AMC purchases The Walking Dead's Georgia Studio. The article goes on to say, AMC purchased Riverwood Studios, a company which had been operating under Raleigh Studios in Atlanta, Georgia, from Kudzu Productions, LLC. The nearly 80,000 square foot studio houses The Walking Dead and only The Walking Dead on its four stages, acres of land, and various other on-property locations. It is the only studio in the country which dedicates all of its resources to one production year-round. The network bought the studio for $8.25 million. While operating under Raleigh Studios, the studio has housed The Walking Dead since 2011. The second season was when the show started to call the location home, and it has since expanded to build the hilltop location, the Oceanside Houses, and the prison in seasons 3 and 4, which had since been transformed into Negan Sanctuary. In fact, both the interior and exterior of a particular stage have been transformed into the show's popular villain's hideout, and despite popular belief, the prison location, which it served as earlier in the series, was created on the studio's lot and was never actually a Georgia prison. Other sets built and housed by the studio include Father Gabriel's Church, which was torn down and, ironically enough, became the location of Negan's introductory beatdown of Glenn and Abraham. Wow, I did not know that. As for the Woodbury, Alexandria, and Terminus locations, each was, and is, a real-world location dressed up to fit the apocalyptic vibes offered by The Walking Dead's zombie world. The purchase by AMC should serve as an indicator of how long they plan to make The Walking Dead last. Purchasing the studio is not only an investment for future endeavors at the network, but also proves The Walking Dead is not going anywhere anytime soon. The cable juggernaut still nabs well over 12 million viewers on a down ratings week. For comparison, The Walking Dead's spin-off series, Fear the Walking Dead, was renewed for a fourth season while earning about 4 million viewers on an up week. And of course, Fear the Walking Dead returns September 10th, and The Walking Dead returns October 22nd. So, wow, there we go. AMC now owns Raleigh Studios. And if you have not seen what Raleigh Studios looks like, this is what Raleigh Studios looks like. Uh, as you can see right over here, this is a uh, sanctuary. Uh, as you can see, here is the uh, the chain link fence that has all the walkers, you know, and the molten walkers uh, chained up to it. Here is the little platform right here that Negan came out at the uh, end of season seven and said we're going to war while all the saviors were right down here, you know, cheering him on. Uh, I believe right here was uh, the prison, I believe. I think this right here was a guard tower, I think. Uh, this was definitely the road, um, you know, that everybody drove up to to get to the prison. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, and then, of course, here was the, um, you know, the, the um, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, the courtyard or, um, I don't know, just the yard, I guess. And uh, remember, they had the uh, the chain link fence all the way around here. But as you can see, this is a recent photo. So as you can see, here is the junkyard. Here's the little fighting pit right inside here where uh, where Rick fought, um, oh, what was his name, Winslow, Winston? Um, can't remember his name, the spiked walker. But yeah, there is the, uh, the little fighting pit that Rick went into. So here is uh, the junkyard. And also right up this way, there's Hilltop. So as you can see, here is uh, the Hilltop set right here. You know, there's the big house and everything like that. Here's the little road that they uh, drove up to the first time they went to a Hilltop. And there's the doors and everything like that. Um, you know, there are those little, oh, what do you call them? Like little, I don't know, mobile mobile house units, you know, that Maggie was hiding in, uh, well, I shouldn't say hiding in, but living in, when, um, who was it, uh, Simon attacked, um, you know, the hilltop with that car and everything like that, the car, you know, 
rolled right into here and all the walkers started to flow in so yeah here is hilltop uh here is where is it right down here here is the junkyard here's sanctuary and this area right here was the prison how cool is that and i don't know where the oceanside houses are uh, maybe they're not out unless those are them no i don't think so yeah it looks like just random stuff but i don't know i don't know where the uh, oceanside houses are but um yeah there you have it amc now owns rally studios they own this entire thing this whole lot right here everything all the way up to hilltop they basically own I don't know, I'm just guessing, like, this whole area right in here. I'm guessing they own, I don't know, the lake or pond or whatever. Uh, whatever you want to call this. Lake, pond, I don't know. But, um, yeah, they own all of this now. So, how cool is that? So, looks like Walking Dead is going nowhere anytime soon. That is actually uh, pretty impressive that this studio only does The Walking Dead and nothing else. That is crazy. But, um yeah there you have it sanctuary prison junkyard and hilltop right up there talk about memories i mean you can kind of like looks like you can kind of see like the outline of where they had the uh the fence it looks like like it might have been right here is where the uh you know the giant barbed wire fence and everything like that was right in here and then you know this is where they were growing crops and everything like that um you know, right in here, I think, was when, uh, you know, the governor was, governor was, you know, spying on them. And then I think this is the road that uh, the governor drove up on. Granted, this wasn't here. Uh, drove up on and, um, you know, attacked uh, Rick and the group twice. Um, but, yeah, there we have it. Either way, how cool is that? Unfortunately, we can't get a, uh, you know, a Google Street View. Uh, closest we can kind of get is like way down here somewhere so can't really get a you know street view of the studio but you know this is better than nothing but hey how cool is that AMC now owns Rally Studios the only studio in the country that dedicates everything to one production year round that is crazy that's insane but um yeah you know fear not the walking dead is going nowhere anytime soon and especially with the uh the new issue coming out i think they mentioned something about it i don't know what issue this is oh issue 170 i believe is coming out titled on the road and apparently the walking dead comic goes to pittsburgh and don't forget we're on issue what are we at issue 120 right now yeah issue 100 was uh the season 7 premiere basically um I think they get to about maybe, I don't know, 15 issues, maybe 20 issues per season. So, you know, still got a long way to go. But, um, yeah, issue 170 titled On the Road, The Walking Dead Goes to Pittsburgh. So that will be very interesting to see. Um, you know, but again, that's many, many years down the road. But anyways, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. If you guys like the channel, feel free to subscribe. Of course, you can follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below, along with a link to this article if you want to check it out for yourself. And of course, leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think? Um, you know, are you excited about this? You know, I mean, you don't just purchase a studio, you know, if your show is going to end in like five seasons or nothing. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. But anyways, stick around. More Walking Dead videos are on the way. I'll probably be doing another Walking Dead filming update video maybe tomorrow um, or Monday. I don't know. Got some Game of Thrones stuff to do as well. But we'll see. But either way, more Walking Dead filming update videos are on the way as well. So I will see you guys next time.